I won the die rolls. I'm gonna go first. Uh, five lander with no threats. Half the mulligan. You can keep this, but it's pretty darn risky. Do not need barrage. I need land. But it makes no difference really because um, I'll be shipping it away using my fetch land. I still have one more play left before I get killed by my own land base. Oh, is this John or um Grizzle Shawl? It's a pretty good draw. Yep. The rest, what's these? Taking away Helix. So he knows I have Lightning Bolt and um, Searing Blaze in hand. No reason to hold back. This is definitely Lily, isn't it? Nope, it's my favorite card, the Scavenging Ooze. If I can pop like a land, I can basically destroy it. So come on, land. Goes up to five. Well, that'll be nice. Oh dear. Come on, land. The odds of him having a lightning bolt are very, very high. Nah, it's not worth the risk. If he has lightning bolt, then um, then he gains two life, and I'll basically be out of reach.
It's over. Oh, he didn't have Lightning Bolt, which means I probably could have won if I just cast it earlier. So I should have took the risk. That was my bad. Alright, well, um, Scarcrack goes in. Searing Blaze is... probably go in. I don't like Grimlock Mass in this matchup. I think it's too slow. I think Frey is enough. What I needed to do that, that turn was actually to kill his scavenging who's cast the um the Grim Lab Mass and just swing in. I kind of forgot about his um, huntsman, so yeah, it would have been so safer to go for that strategy. Even if we had lightning bolt, he only goes up to four. But because I chickened out and tried to go for the um, free damage plan, he managed to capitalize and beat me. Um, six lander? No thank you. One lander? Maybe. Another creature? No, I need the land. For Swamp? Nope. Whoa, even though I threw it away, I got another one anyway. Paying two life, maybe, with a lightning bolt? I believe that's actually worth it because, um, these things grow pretty fast. Uh, double Fortsies, well, not Fortsies, but Inquisition. Or Scavenging Ooze, it can't be Scavenging Ooze, it's too dangerous for that. Brave, brave play there. I'm not too sure about Eidolons in this matchup. They really boost up his um, his Tomgoff, but at the same time, they usually net at least a shock damage. But two, two mana with shock mount damage, is that really worth it? I'm not too sure. Kitchen Finks?
difficult, difficult, difficult. I could cast the Golden Guard, do 7 damage here, but he gains 2 life from that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He blocks 2, because it only takes 7 then. He gains 2, he only takes 5, he's on 4. On the draw, I'm cutting out the Eidolons for um, two paths and the third Searing Blaze. He's not going to swing, is he? Oh, that puts me behind pretty badly. Huntsman, ah, you gotta hate him. This is five damage, and my creatures all survive. That goes up to 10, or to 5. So I can draw enough lightning bolt, I can win this. Just trade both golden guides, it's the best play. Yep. That's correct. I don't see anything wrong with that play at all. Level 5 damage. So this is basically top deck Barrow Sham or I lose. Unless it's not Bailiff, in which case I still lose. Yeah, that's actually a completely fair play. Huntsman. Yep, goes to four. If I top deck Barasham, I win this, otherwise I lose.
Next turn I'm gonna take a lot of damage. I'm probably gonna take um four, five, six, and then he flips and then deals another two damage to me. I'm not dead, but I'm pretty darn close to it. Does he have lightning bolt? And this rest? He's got a command in his hand, but doesn't have the second um, black source. There's one big problem here. I've only seen three lands so far, which means the ultimate drawing of the land are very, very high. Lucky. I'm really questioning the um Idolons and on this in this matchup nowadays. Puff, Searing Blaze, Singleton Palm. Snaring Bridge seems good, but I think um, Erupt Decay makes it dead. Although I, it looks like he bought it out, Erupt Decay. No, but he has Calden Command, never mind. You can't use artifacts against John. Me and my one landers, I continuously keep them. Gone. Well, I guess not really. I mean, Goblin Guards are very easy to kill, so maybe he just goes um, Inquisition taking away my command or Searing Blaze. And then just cast something to kill my um, Goblin Guard later on. That seems like a good play to me. Lamp, please. Lamp, please. Missed my land drop. That's actually really, really bad. Fiddlesticks. This one should take away my, um, either the command or Boros Charm. Taking away anything else would be silly. The good thing about that play is that it makes my um, fetch much more easier to decide. But I do agree that taking command is a good idea. Does he have the green for the kitchen things? He does. I 
I'm not entirely too sure taking, taking two lives is actually worth it. I mean, I only have one land. You probably could have waited. Is it Lily, maybe? If it's Lily, I probably throw away the sh um, Shard Volley or this Helix. Ah, between these two. Okay, now I can see why I did that for. And I agree on his play. Bailiff? Or Huntsman? Bailiff. If there's enough Bailiff, I might just concede. Because I'm just far too behind at that point. Um, Shard Volley is probably easy to discard there. Searing Blaze. Land, please. Got there. Nice hand chance. Kind of. Not really. One, two, three. Sacrifice the mountain.
And GG. It's a pretty close game, but not good enough for me.